Recording, episode 20 of Rocco on the Rocks. Action! Cue the music. What's up, rock stars? Welcome to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. <laughs> I'm joined today by my very good friend, Daniel. Thank you for having me, Rocco. No, oh, Daniel, thank you for coming on. And thank you for uh, also like having me come to Tyler's apartment. What? Shout out to Tyler and hosting the exactly. studio for today. Welcome to Manhattan. Yes, thank you for welcoming me oh. to Manhattan. I do come in quite often from time to time, you know, for work. Um, right. for other events that we have, of dinners course. and, and such. So to kickstart off the episode, we are jumping into our scrumper dump menu for today. And on our menu, we are making a gin and tonic. But instead of the tonic part, we're actually just going to make a gin and seltzer-ish. These are from Avec. They are carbonated premium drinks. They're like mixers, right? It's mm-hmm. like almost like a fake cocktail that we are just going to spike with gin pretty much so i chose a yuzu and lime mixed drink and i have a jalapeno and blood orange oh that's spicy no i think it's gonna be good like i'm excited should i give you the honors we'll pour this first there you go for the gin we're using bombay sapphire i've never gin is your drink like it's your go-to do you get this at the bar a lot Oh, all the time. Yeah, no, I'm not a gin connoisseur. I'm a tequila lover, strictly. Obviously, everyone knows that. But the whole point, you know, of the show and being the bartender is to try new things as we have each episode. So I'm glad that you're introducing me to gin. Of course. I'm excited. Can we get a little little mix in that thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. We could could start around. No, no, no. We can use all the the products here. Wow. Rocco came prepared. You got all you got all that, right? Has anyone yeah. ever used it? What do you mean? Yeah. Of course. No, like the crazy stuff. Like the the whisk <laughs> like, the, the like whisk, what? like uh, that, the like... whisk I've never used. I've used the shaker, obviously, and right. I've used the muddler. Right. Um I'll let you transfer to yours. Yeah, yeah. I've used the shaker, the muddler, the bottle opener, the ice tongs. But this has like mm. holes in the top, so I don't need to strain anything. Like I don't right. use a strainer. Oh, this is strainer. Yeah, right. and I've right. used the um, the shot. Where should we put measure? It? Cheers. Okay, cheers. Scrumper dump. It's a major scrum for me. Oh, oh my god. You like gin? Like I? Oh no. <laughs> Well, put some more of the I like the Avec. Put some more of the Avec, yeah. A lot. The Avec's good. It's really good. The gin is just such an acquired taste for me that my palate's not ready for it yet. You it's, are just it's sophisticated. For the mature girls. It's yeah, for the mature. yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. I feel like gin. No, is... you are. Like you, you have a better palate than I do. Like I don't have the no. palate for that. Well, I can't do tequila like you can. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just crazy. <laughs> no, no. Does that help? Mm. Yeah, that's a scrum. Okay. Now. Okay, good. But yeah. Good. Bombay Sapphire. It's different. I've never really had gin. It's an interesting flavor to me. Yeah, I think it's just um, in many ways floral at times. I feel like people yeah. always like pair with like floral notes. Mm-hmm. So that really just kind of like goes with everything I love in life. Anything floral. Yeah, no, for sure. Mm-hmm. It's like a little bitter. It has like a kick to it. Like a uh, everyone's always like, oh, tequila's disgusting. You know what I mean? But you like it. Well, I find it to be good. Like I don't find it to be bitter and gross like how some people you have to have good tequila you know right, what i mean right and i'm sure you have to have good gin i don't know how great the bombay sapphire is but Bombay's i read the reviews like go-to. and yes. yeah, yeah yeah and it seemed to be so that's why sure. I, I picked it up and brought it of course yeah i love bombay yeah so daniel you are a besides being you know an nyc lover mm-hmm. you also are a baker on the side I do bake, yes. I bake for corporate events, weddings, birthday parties, anything. Cookies, cakes, cupcakes, like Mm -hmm. just all custom baked design or baked goods. Um, Most recently, I baked a huge order for Lyft. I work for Lyft, but I flew them all the way from New York to San Francisco. And there were all these. Oh, you you sent those to San Francisco? No, I personally like took them. 
<laughs> yes. 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 Wait. Rock I thought there was an event here that you like missed out on because you were in San Fran. No. Like I thought I was like, wow. Like you know, they still like represent like having your baked goods. You brought right? them with you. I brought them on the plane That's to iconic. San Francisco. There were all these cookies with like the Lyft logo and like Lyft used to be really big on mustaches. So like I did a little mustache. Cookie. Really? Yes, for real. Isn't that so random? Wait, why? I don't know. They used to like put these furry mustaches in the fronts of cars that were driving for Lyft. That's so interesting. I don't. I don't really remember it. Okay. I don't know if you remember, do you remember that? No, no I'm sorry. I take. Uber. No, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> you take Uber? Yeah. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Competitor. Sorry. Competitor. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm price conscious too. I get it. But no, no, no. I'll I'll, I'll start taking Lyft because you work for them now. Thank you. You're welcome. No, no, no. support. Yeah. Duh. yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so the cookies, the cookies were great, and um, they're just very custom. And these were a really fun one to make. I did cookies for um, CVS when I used to work for CVS. Um, those were those were a hit. You know, the yeah. office would order for me a lot. Um, our that office manager would order cakes, cookies. So mm-hmm. a lot of business. That's great. Well, and we all, I also gave you business because you made cookies and a cake for Christine and Drew for their yes, engagement. Right. For their, for their engagement party. It was mm-hmm. um, a vegan cake, which was a difficult one. Yeah, but honestly, that one was my favorite. Thank you. I'm glad. And like, they had vegan. a regular cake and... Uh, really? Like, low-key. Well, no. no. For, for them to watch. But, like, honestly, like, it was good, but it wasn't my favorite. Like, I, good to hear. I really like the vegan one. That's good to hear. The yeah. little disco balls on it. That was cute. That was good. No, it was really good. Disco themed. Very, very nice. The cookies were good. Appreciate it. Those were... Cookies are always the hardest to make mm-hmm. because they're very labor intensive. You know, each one is drawn out by hand, done by hand. Um, yeah. Those no, were really fun. The disco ones were fun. It's crazy that it's you doing it all by hand, like just one person, because I'm not kidding. Like... They each one didn't look different than the next. You know what I mean? Like there was no. Oh, well, they were supposed to look the same. No, I know, <laughs> but like. Oh no! Uh, didn't or did? No, didn't. Like <gasps> you did like such a good job. Oh, you thought? <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you were like each one looks like so different. I'm like, oh. No, no. <laughs> They're no. all supposed to be disco balls. <laughs> no, they like you couldn't tell like any of them apart. There was like no, nothing. There was no what? What's the word? Like in differences? No. Yes, but, like... There were no, like, deformities? Yeah, 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 to each cookie. Like, they were all, like, perfect. Thank you. No, I was, sh- I, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I appreciate it. Was, and it's it all just you. Order. You made, like, 50? No, I 75, think was, I think. Yeah, I'm not too sure of the count, but yeah, it was sure. it was a good order. It was a big amount. It was a large, large amount. One time I did uh, a wedding, uh, a New Year's Eve wedding, 300 oh, cookies. Fun. 300. Wow. Each each of them were and, handmade, you know, hand design, custom designs from champagne glasses to New York City skyline, to um, my God. just like a little Happy New Year cookie, you know, elaborate. Yeah, that elaborate. sounds it. That's crazy. So, what got you into baking? Like, how'd you? I loved watching the Cake Boss. I really? All the yeah, all the episodes. Fun fact: I've. Mm, I've never spoken was to Was he him, at, like, a wedding? I bet he was, like, a New Jersey wedding. We go consistent, like, where Christina and Drew had their engagement party. Like, he's always there for events mm-hmm. for, like, other people. So I constantly see him. And I think at one point, Bloody. I could be wrong, he might have been the caterer as well for the venue hall. Um, like, the dessert oh. caterer. Like, the preferred caterer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Uh, like, if they wanted a cake or whatever. So they would go to him and then also in high school for our italian class we would take trips like we took trips to uh new york we would go to little italy sometimes and one of the years we went to hoboken and we went to because there's like you know italian landmarks there so we also went to cake boss like the (laughs) <laughs> like, like buddy's cake shop Carlos, Carlos yeah Car- cake Carlos shop. <laughs> bakery I literally was like oh this is what we're doing you don't like it how, how were the the pastries how are the desserts you know his pastries are good like I'm not gonna knock him I don't know him like don't you know what I mean like I just see the guy so from time to time right. in my hometown like hey buddy. yeah buddy hey buddy, buddy. yeah uh, but I think his cake, I'm not a fan, I don't like sugar, and you know that, so I'm not right. a fan of, like, fondant, or fondant, how do you say it? Oh, no one's a fan of fondant. But most of his cakes are that. So, for me, when people would, like, have a cake, or if I'd watch the show, and he makes these, like, big, elaborate, like, cakes, it's like, 
that's all a sheet of sugar. Right. You know? I mean, it's all for the looks, you know? Which I totally get. Like, Like, I'm not knocking that, but... Right. When, like, I wouldn't want to order it because, like, I know I just wouldn't like it, you know? I agree. But for a big event, it's like, you, you, you can either get, like, looks or taste. Yeah. And, like, the fondant makes it really, really elaborate. You can make like the sugar flowers, you mm-hmm. can make like the, the surface very smooth. Yeah. Um, but it tastes very like Play Doh like, you know, it's just like sugar paste. Yeah. So, not a fan of the taste, but I never use fondant on my cakes because I'm just that good. I can make the icing smooth. You're yes. crazy. Yes. That, no, that's like really impressive. Mm-hmm. Your birthday cake, the little blue one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth. You saw Loved my was? birthday yeah, cake. She was that smooth. was so good. She was very smooth. If you can, put a little pick. I know. I need to figure out how to do that. I always keep saying that because, like, every time I, like, have yeah. someone on, we're always like, oh, like, I'll be like, insert pic. Oh, well, mm-hmm. like, I've never figured it out. I also use iMovie to edit these. <laughs> oh. I know. No. It's probably so easy. Girl, girl, girl. Well, I don't even know. Like, can you, can you, like, put a, a still image over the video? No. Yeah, I think you can. I think there's a little. On, on iMovie? Yeah. I have no idea. Question mark. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Okay. I believe I'm not worried. We'll get there. No, never, never, never worried. But yeah, okay. So Cake Boss was like, not your inspiration, but like he like got you into it or like... He got me into it. I was really into watching those cakes being made. Hmm. So elaborate, so custom. And it really spoke they to are me. very custom. It's just like a fun little art medium. So hmm. I kept doing it at like age... What, I don't know. How, how old are you in middle school? Like 11, 12, 13, I think. Okay. Yes. So like pre-teen age... Maybe 12, years. 13, 14. I think that's it. Yes. I was like really into watching them. Mm. And then I would do my own cakes just like for fun. At home? At home. And wow. Like, people were like really getting into it, um, ordering from me, like the neighborhood. Oh, nice. And then it, it just kind of grew from there. Yeah, so you were just like a, a go-to. Like everyone was like, perfect, mm-hmm. gonna hit up Daniel. Exactly. And now I'm in New, I'm in New York. And so it's even better. Are, like yeah. people are just hitting you up left and right. Things are so expensive. Like bakery, bakeries will charge like times two what I charge. Yeah. And I'm a home baker, so I can't charge that much. So that's why I do it. It's fun. Makes me some money. Hey, whatever. And, you know, can't complain. Whatever pays the bills, right? Whatever pays the bills. Yeah. Maybe maybe one day this will start paying my bills. <laughs> Is it not already? I need to get some, you know, brand deals. <laughs> Were you sponsored by what? Like who? who? You know. No, I was just featured in on Kylie Jenner's Instagram. I saw the video. We all saw the video. Sprinter, not you and eight. Yes, their new alcoholic seltzer. Their new alcoholic seltzer. Yeah. Did they even send you a case? I got a tote bag and a hat. Did you really? For posting that, yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. not a case though. No, I'm like waiting to be put on the PR list. I don't know how to do that. I have to figure that out. DM that person. It's probably some like. No, Sprinter years. reached out to me. No, but like DM them back. Be like, hey, you know, it's been a like, while. Like, put me on the PR list. Can you do that? I would just say like, oh, I'm looking to. I would love to like, if you guys ever need a reviewer or you ever need like. I already did that. Just For content. Free. We'll just content. say like, if you ever need like content, you know, mm-hmm. by like a, a content creator. Yeah. Consider it done. Consider it done. Consider it done. Here are my rates. Here are my rates. Yes, everyone has so many rates these days. Here are my rates. So, okay. You started out doing it in your hometown and then you moved to the city. But on top of that, you also have been a content creator yourself. Here and there. Here and there. When did you start that? Like, was that. Just in college. About baking at all or no? Nope, not. I tried to do one baking video and it flopped. It got really? Like just a few thousand views compared to like other videos. Getting so like all your baking like gigs are through word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Wow. And it's literally just for money. And wow. And you have fun, obviously. Right, 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 right. But that's so cool that you literally have been able to like build, you know, basically a network of just word of mouth, being like, oh, I do this, you know. Totally. Like everyone out here is posting, <laughs> obviously, and getting out their own you know, stuff, products, you know, companies and everything to be like, hi, look at me. And you're just like walking around these streets being like, oh, oh, for sure. Daniel Kim <laughs> bakes. Business is booming. You That's know? great. I turn people down now. Really? I'm out of town. Mm. I got too many baking orders. I can't commit to too much, you know, like you gotta be, you gotta be careful because these are like big events, you know, like 
big birthdays, a wedding. Like yeah. you cannot overcommit. You cannot like mess this order up because like this is people are paying like real money and it's like for like, a real event, you know? Yeah. So gotta be careful. No, that's valid. Rocker, what's your brand? Rock stars. I like that. Right. But like what does that like are the rock stars like what in the music world? No, everyday, right. everyday life. Oh, oh it's a rock okay. Star. I yeah. like that. Yes. Yes. I mean I know it always starts with like what's up rock stars, like rock yeah. on the rocks. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally love the brand. But the rock star, would you ever incorporate like music, band, something like real rock I stars? wish I was a singer. That'd be kind of iconic. And well I've always said like oh I've, I've always wanted to be on Broadway, you know. Right. So I do wish I was a singer in order for that to be a possibility. Um, but I don't know if I have the capabilities to be a singer. I believe in you. Thank you. Thank I believe you. in you. I feel like I need some lessons. We'll be okay. I could like hold a tune for sure, but maybe not like enough for an audience. You know, I keep it to the shower. You want to give it a shot? No. <laughs> no. For the rock stars? No, I would, I think, scare people away. Okay. And probably, or actually that could blow me up to be like, wow, this guy sucks. I would watch. I would watch. Good or bad. You got to be really good or really bad. I feel like Thank that's you. the internet. I know. You do have to be really good or if really bad. Really good or really bad. Yeah, probably better to be bad. Low key. Easier to be bad. Easier to be bad. <clears throat> yeah. And I feel like a lot of influencers these days are banking on that idea. To be bad? Just, like, be really bad. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'm, I'm trying to bring, like, happiness to people. No, no, that's not your brand, for sure. But, no, like, oh, my God, no. I'm saying, like, as a concept, it's, like, really fun to, like, watch people be, like, really bad, you know? Yeah, that is true. That so, is true. But not you. Not you, Rockstar. No, <laughs> not, not me, Rockstar. Okay, so you're turning people away because you are just having these, like, upscale events that, like, things need to be pristine and perfect for. For sure. You once told me that you went to a baking event with Martha Stewart. Out in Connecticut? Yeah. Martha what? Stewart is a big deal, you know? She is. Obviously. She's out and about. She's frequenting these, like, garden parties, you mm. know? She's always baking. She is. And Was they're... Snoop Dogg there? Snoop Dogg is, like, an ever-present... Snoop Dogg is, like, in Martha, you know? Like, Martha and Bob <laughs> Snoop Dogg these days. <laughs> They That's both true. just That's like true. DGAF. You know what I mean? No, what's DGAF? DGAF. Yeah, what is that? Don't give a fuck. Oh, they both just okay. like do not care. You know, they're both like whatever. Like I'm out here just like doing whatever the heck, whatever mm-hmm. I want. You know, yeah, no one's gonna like cancel me. Martha Stewart's been canceled. Yeah, but Queen, like everyone loves her. Right, right, right. But canceled for like insider trading. You know, like she has like gone through it. So she is like nothing more can be done to me. I've already been to prison. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg is just like, True. whatever, you know, he's like, I, my whole thing is just like being chill. So they're both like that same vibe. Yeah. And, that's valid. um, she was baking. Right. Mm-hmm. And she just like, does not, she's like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, but she's scrumper dumb. She, she embodies scrumper dumb. She's a very harsh woman though. You think um, we could get her to make one, a scrumper dump? We got to start, we got to start like where you got your first brand deal though. <laughs> Sprinter. Sprinter. Yes. Start there. And then call Work Martha. your way up to Martha Stewart. Yeah. Have her come on the show. Dog. Right. Yeah. We'll make, maybe she'll bring a cake and we'll scrub her dump it. Hopefully. Yeah. That could be fun. Hopefully. So was she there? Did you like get to talk to her? I saw from afar. Oh, okay. You know, she's mm-hmm. a very elusive woman. She has to like keep, you know, she wants to keep her space. She wants to like be. Yeah, totally uh, understandable. Sewer. Yeah. You can admire from afar, mm-hmm. but don't get too close. True. Very true. That's her brand. Really? Her brand that. is, you know, exclusive. She just yeah. wants to be seen as like the little, the, or the queen mm-hmm. of like garden, home decoration. And she is, and then walks away. She she walks away and she does not want to be interfered with. Wow. Okay, all the power to her. Right. That's exciting. You know, in New York, there's just always parties here and there through work, through friends. Like, I've been to, like, really fun, really fun events. That just kind of, like, you know, it is what it is. She just wanted to be, like, admired. That comes and goes, you yeah. Know? She just literally wanted to be admired, which, like, I get, but... That's exciting, though. Did you And you baked for this event, right? Or no? You just attended. Bake. I did not bake, no. It fell through. Oh, it fell through? Oh, but you still got to go. I still got to go. The whole idea was, like, you bake and it's like a fundraiser or something mm, mm-hmm. the logistics didn't work out where it's like i'm coming from new york yeah yeah 
I had to like prep stuff, but I don't like really have anything to yeah the the facilities. So yeah, I know it's up in Connecticut. That's valid. That is Maybe hard too. Maybe in another life. Maybe in another life for sure. Maybe fingers crossed one day. Good memory though. That was like a year ago or more. Um. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit over a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Because we like just started becoming friends at that time. Or, no, we've been friends for a while at that point. We have known each other for like maybe like two years, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember our first phone call was like our little, you know, one-on-one. Our first phone call was our one-on-one. It's like getting to know each other, you know? Yeah, and I thought you hated me. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Because it was like the quickest phone call of my life. I felt like oh. the one-on-one. Because we like we both talk very fast. Right. You know right, what right. I mean. So and like, once we finished, we had to talk about. We're like, okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. We're like, okay, but like, see you later. So like, that's how like it ended. And I was like, wait, like, <laughs> did, was, he, was, did he not like me? Yeah. I'm like, was that good or bad? And then we finally met in person. And I was, was like, good. oh wait, like, it was so good. Yeah. No, it was great. Always. Yeah. But yeah, probably two years now of friendship. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How's it been? Great. I have no complaints. Oh my god, me too. You invite me to fun stuff. I come and we just have a good time. But, you know? um, yeah. I mean, that's just the way friendship is, you know? Just that gonna hang true. out, yeah. create space, get to know each other. For sure. And let it blossom. Yeah. No, literally exactly that. 100%. So, you all, so besides being a baker, I mentioned that you are a content creator. What was like the basis of your content? lifestyle comedy lifestyle. just like random stuff your stuff was funny thank you i wish you still posted it was like well i feel like people at work were starting to be like oh i recognize you and oh really like, and it's too much you know mm. i don't want to be known before i make my own impression just like in a corporate professional okay. setting that's nice i like that you know what i mean yeah so I, I feel stopped. like it's the op- opposite for me. Everyone's always like, oh my God, I heard about you. I'm like, and oh you my love God. it though. But you I do. I, I eat that shit up. You eat it up. Like, yeah. no crumbs. But like, for me, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no crumbs. Yeah, you're right. Right. But like, I don't know. My stuff, was, your stuff is like fun and like real. My stuff was like comedy for like to get brand deals. Yeah. You know? So mm-hmm. it's like not the same. Your vibe, you're, you're like, you like represent yourself as just like Rocco online. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. it's different. It's a different brand. Yeah, that's valid. Yep. You're technically my first influencer, like on the show. <gasps> Can you believe well, it? Well, what is like, what is what qualifies as an influencer? You have like 20k following on TikTok. Like you're a influencer, or you were once before. Former. Right. It's going down. Is it? It used to be like 30, or no, it used to be like a lot higher. Then it hit 30, and then it hit like. I've been checking it like every, I don't know, every few months. And it's like, now it's like 25. Oh my God, I have like 3,000 and I look and it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> 2,999. I'm like, oh no, 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 no go back up, go back up. 3,000 rock stars is a big deal. 3,000 rock stars. I did just make this podcast its own TikTok. <gasps> oh, like the little clips? Yeah, so I could post the clips on there because clips, I've been posting yes. clips on my personal page and I feel like I need to kind of merge or not merge but like kind of separate it a little bit and then i think maybe on that one even like when i'm home i can just make like regular drinks like before going out or something like that Mm -hmm. um and then if i like it enough like try it on the podcast if i don't whatever like if it's a drink someone like if i see another creator make it like i could just make it for myself type of vibe you know what i mean will this be on it your gin this yes this gin and spritz blood orange (laughs) <laughs> this gin and jalapeno <laughs> yeah. scrum yeah it is a scrum now that i added more but i like i said the gin just has like such a distinct flavoring i actually had gin once fun fact and it was at my cousin's wedding i'm enjoying it now because it's like watered down okay um, i'm good i'm going real slow i mean i mean good no that, that's fine you could you could have as many drinks as you want on the show like i'm not gonna knock anyone Marco, it's a school night it is just kidding that's never stopped me before yeah like it's fine yeah the first time i actually tried gin fun fact was at my cousin's wedding and i wasn't like of age to drink you know it's like when like you sip on like your family members drinks because they're like here try it you know Mm -hmm. um so i asked my cousin what he was drinking and he was like oh like it's he it was a gin and tonic he's like here like have a sip i took a sip and was like this is disgusting 
Dang, mm-hmm. I love gin. No, he was like, yeah, it's an acquired taste. I'm like, you probably should have told me that before I took it. But it's fine. He introduced it to me. So at first, I wasn't a fan. But I could, you know, with time, get to like it. For sure. For at sure. first, the drink was a dump, but it's a scrump now. <laughs> yeah. Has a drink ever been a dump on the show? Yeah, I've... Um, like what? The Easter spritzer that I made that I found from a content creator. I, like, made it on the show with my friend Carly. And that was a dump. It was literally terrible. That's um, so sad. Yeah, I didn't like it. And then I did a beer flight with my friend Tom. Mm. And one of a couple of the beers I gave a dump. The other ones I liked. Like Bud Light, I gave a dump. That was actually disgusting. What? Um, Leia? What? What kind of beer? Bud Light. Oh. Yeah. Dump. Yeah, that'd be a dump. But Michelob was a scrump. You know, the classic bro drink. Okay, because you're about right, 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 right. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, the beer was good. I didn't mind it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The beer was good. Um, I think my favorite drink that I had on the, ep- on the podcast, the margaritas I've made have been really good. I made them with Krista and my friend Kim. Mm-hmm. Those were good. Honestly, most of my drinks have been a scrump, minus the Easter Spritzer and the beers. Some of the okay, beers. I love. I love. Forsyth's espresso martinis were really good. Which one? Espresso martinis. You made those on the show? Mm-hmm. <gasps> this is what I want to start doing with the show in general, though. Like, I do, obviously, as I want to start inviting more people to come on, like, besides my friends, where it's easy for them to come to my studio and record, I want to be able to, like I'm kind of doing right now, Obviously, depending on the space, if it allows for me to come into either their home or wherever to set up, you know, a travel studio and have the conversation with them like I am with you right now in terms of like the interview and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would love for that to start to pick up. Obviously, I have to start reaching out to people and stuff. Right. And maybe have some brands like send me some product that I could, you know, have them sponsor the episode like. Bombay, you know what I mean? Like, as an example, like, for Sprinter. Sprinter, yeah, send them a case and I'll go somewhere and try it um, with whoever I have come on the show. I also would like to maybe start going to bars around here. Ooh, I like that. Interview, like, bartenders to be like, oh, like, tell me the craziest story, like, that happened at the bar. Like, make, like, the signature drink of the place and, like, kind of take it from there. Rocco, start it up. I know. Well, so you've done brand deals before, like... But have the brands have reached out to you? They always they like I never reach out, you know. Like, yeah, see, too, I'm too booked and busy. No, I know, you know, and you're famous versus me. But <laughs> no, the brand deals I would do are like the most random things ever, though. Like mm. most recently, like a month ago. Now I'll do brand deals that it's like not that I have to post it, but they just right. like want the right to the content, so it's like easy. But okay. I didn't add for Tums. Yes. How yes. did that go? It was great. 30 seconds Tom, of me to just Tom, like Tom, Tom, just like I know eating it. Tom's yeah it was good and you just ate like, Tom's <laughs> I just ate Tom's you know that's it easy negotiated my rates and there you go wow it's easy yeah and then that yeah, way yeah but they're reaching out to you they're reaching out to me yes yeah. yes I worked with but like you're not Adobe. a part of any agency no yeah okay I'm a one man show right I've worked with like big brands like Adobe mm. or Netflix or just like just like random really big brands. You wow. Know? But then also small brands like um, Amsom, which is like an Asian sauce brand. I love them. Truff, another sauce brand. Really? You've worked with Truff? I've worked with Truff. Wow. They've done anything from just like send me PR mm-hmm. to like eat and like try and put on my story. Or like I've done like brand deals where like they pay me money to like use it on a video. Huh. It really ranges, you know? Yeah, I love that. It could be a fun dinner. Or rent for the month, you know? True. It could be rent for the month, depending. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, so see, they reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Like, as of right now, ain't nobody reaching out to me. So, Uh, I kind of have to... Sprinter reached out. Sprinter did reach out, but it's just Sprinter. And you got a tote bag and a hat. Yes. That is worth something. No, I know. I'm not knocking that. Are you going to report it on your taxes this year? The hat and the... the in the toe. No. How, what, do you, what do you mean? Y'all heard it here. <laughs> what do you mean report the that? The next Martha Stewart. 
<laughs> what do you mean report that on my taxes? It was literally like a, they like they, I think you have to report gifts. Yeah, um, but for they, real. But they just sent it to me. It's not like it was like like it's PR. It's branded and stuff like that. The hat's it, really cute. And you might be getting a, a W not, or whatever W whatever it is from them. Probably not. Honestly, probably not. No. That's happened to me before. I was like shook. I got like hair products. And they sent you a W-9? With like a tax form, and I was like, for what? Yeah, I didn't get a tax form in the mail. Okay, then I'm sure you're fine. Martha Stewart. <laughs> it didn't come in like a glorious branded box. Like, Did it not? What was no, it? What was it? A cardboard box. Okay. I'm sure you're fine. I'm not going to knock it. I think I'm okay. You're, you're totally fine. I'm sure. But, okay, in terms of me, though, like, you know, going to certain places, I feel like I have to reach out. You should reach out, yeah. Why not? And to obviously invite people on the show, I have to reach out. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is like me, you know, I don't know really. Maybe down the line, brands will start reaching out to me. Like you had a big following, my following right now, which I'm grateful for all my rock stars. I'm not knocking that. But I'm saying in terms of like actual, like in terms of these big brands reaching out to you, I feel as though like you obviously have to have a following and like a big name for yourself for them to, and it's terrible to say, but like care, you know? Yeah. I don't know. At what point do you think, like, you'll be happy with the amount of rock stars you have? You I'm know? happy right now. No, no, no. But for, like, the... And, and then you'll start reaching out. Like, when... Or no. Like, when will you, you start mean? reaching out, you know? To other people? Yeah. No, I want to start doing... I want to start doing that now. Oh, do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's holding you back, rock star? Um, the job that I have that's full time that I, you know, this has been on the side for me and I am trying my best to get 52 episodes out for the year and doing my best in having this come out weekly, but life has really come in the way for me. I get that. That's from time to time. Work is intense. You know, we're young professionals. Work is intense. Yeah. Working in New York city. Yeah. When I decide to come in. Right. But like. You come in often. I do come in often. I do. Speaking of like work and like, it's so different the work life here, I feel, than it is in LA. Like when I was in LA, I stayed in Santa Monica and I was there for a week. Like I was like walking around the streets, whatever. No one was out and about. You know what I mean? Like here you walk outside and there's still people out. Right. But you go to LA and like, I'm like, where is everyone? And I guess it's also could be because, like, you have to drive everywhere to be somewhere versus here where it's, like, all public transportation that takes you to and fro. Mm -hmm. But, and let me tell you, there, you could cross the street and you won't get hit by a car. Same here. Uh, No. No. You're not going to get hit. You're going to get beeped at. No. You could get hit so easily. I almost got hit once. That was crazy. Almost. 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 Not Gracie actually saw it. Almost happened to me. Fun fact. Was it your fault or their fault? I just kept walking, so mine. Oh, so it's your fault. Yeah, I'm going to own up to it, but in reality, I thought they were further enough than they were. Right. But no, here you have a greater chance of getting hit. Right, I guess so. In LA, yes. I'm not kidding, I touched the crosswalk, the car backed up. Like, it was over the crosswalk, I put my foot on it, the Rocco, car went in reverse. You're made for LA. Let's make the move. Uh, I don't know. You're ma- <laughs> You're like, ugh blushing i don't know no i don't know i do love la it's a lot of fun but i don't know i really do love this area and my family's here right so i don't know i have to i that's a long time coming that's fair well to determine one day that. i see it for you thanks maybe for gonna, like a you're year you're gonna be out there rock star hopefully hopefully we'll see we'll see i'm not really sure i like it here i'm happy here i would love to live in london you just went to london tell me about it london was great the food scene's amazing oh i know did you go to dishoom i did go to dishoom did you love it it was not as good as how i remembered it when i was there like years ago i'm I'm heartbroken over that no it's because well i hate the indian food here honestly i have not had really good indian food in new york city I've even tried Sema, that like Michelin Indian spot, you know. Oh, and no good? Dump? It was kind of a dump. The wow. lobster was so tough. This meat dish had like 80% bones in it and like tiny bits of like meat. Oh my God. And the worst part was like the drinks came out in glasses that had thick stems. 
Oh. That's my biggest, like, I don't know. I don't like a thick stem on a glass. But the vibes were really good in there. We're drinking out of, like, a perfect cylinder. I know. No, no, no. But I'm talking about, like, a stemmed glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, a wine I know, glass, I know, I know margarita glass. When it's, like, a thick stem with, like, a thick base, it feels just, like, not, I don't know. It just, like, doesn't feel as premier mm. or as just, like, good quality. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because it's, like, what, you can't trust me with, like, a thin glass. You think, you think I'm going to, like, break it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but the vibes in there were really cute. It was a very cute restaurant. Our waiter was super nice. And, like, the sauces were good. But the meat and, like, the dishes we ordered. At the place in the city. At Sema, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tough, just, like, tough lobster mm. and, like, not a lot of meat on these, like, meat dishes. It was just, like, all bone. Yeah. You know? and yeah. But in, in, um, in London, Dishoom was better than Sema, for sure. But, like, I feel like in New York... You I thought it was great. I loved it. It was, like, the biggest no, it was scrum for good. me. It was, it was so good. It was good. It was yeah. good. I went to another Indian spot called Cricket. And that was better? It was so much better. Mm. I love Indian food. I'm a harsh critic. At work... Well, obviously, you're, like, a baker. You're a connoisseur. You, like, know the arts. I'm harsh. I'm yeah. harsh. At work... The culinary arts. You understand it. Yes. Yeah. The balance of flavors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The presentation. Obviously. You know... Takes one to know one. True. What's your favorite thing to bake? Like, what's been like... I like... Let, let's do that. What's your favorite thing? And then after, what's been the biggest challenge for you? Vegan is the most challenging. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Because vegan is, like, the egg is the binding agent. Like, it, it, when you bake something yeah, yeah. with an egg in it, that's what, like, keeps it together. Mm-hmm. When you don't have any egg, it's, like going to be very dense. You have to, like, combat that. So people use, like, applesauce, like, yeah. chemical agents, like, baking powder, baking soda. It's just it's just hard. And then the icing cannot be, like, whipped because there's no dairy in it. It's just, like, di- more difficult. Really? I'm going to know any of this. Like, buttercream has to use... Um, yeah, but can you just use like the vegan shortening. butter? Or is it not the same? Well, the vegan butter is made out of oil. Mm. so it's just like it doesn't whip the same way and it's just like more difficult it's it's hard so vegan is hard vegan anything so the best thing to make in my mind is the easiest thing to make so like a nice vanilla cake that's your favorite thing to love making vanilla cake simple always comes out delicious and i love decorating cakes it's like a blank canvas yeah cookies are also a blank canvas but there's it's too much canvas it's too much work. I see what you're saying. But I charge, a, I charge a lot more for cookies than a cake, though. So well, you know. that makes more sense. You're making yes. a lot versus one. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. There's multiple. Did you ever take, like, when college, high school, whatever, like, did you take up art at all? Or this was just, like, a hidden talent of yours? I Because never... you make, like, your designs are very good, like Thank I said. Thank you. Thank you. No, I just, like... Never took any classes, never like... And you just freehand it all? Freehand it all, and it usually works out. If it doesn't, I'll just remake it. But mm. no, I never went to any classes, and I like did some graphic design, just like on my side, like another side hobby. That's about it. Wow. That's so crazy. You have that knack to just like pick things up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you're, like- and you're very good at DIY. That's I, like, lo- I love a DIY. Yeah, you do love a DIY. You know, I feel like you just got to, like, keep doing stuff until you're good at something. That is true. That is very true. And um, once you're really good at it, move on. Try something new. Mm, I like that. I like that. You'll get bored. Unless you're, like, truly passionate about, like, I don't know, like, what is something Like shopping. Like- <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always something new. Think about that. It is always something new. I'm always, like, tracking down the, the newest brand, the latest, you right. know. Right. And that's, like, a fun hobby, but expensive. Y- yeah, fun, but expensive. You could find a hobby that is expensive the other way around, where, like, people are paying you, like, baking. True. Well... You could be a personal shopper and use other people's money. I know. I want to be... I, well, I do shop. This is my favorite thing. I love when my guy friends text me, especially in the group chat, or text in the group chat, I shouldn't say me directly, but they'll, they'll be like, what's everyone wearing? And I'll be like, okay, this is where we're going. Like, this is the vibe. This is what I'm wearing. You know, take it from there. Like, they, they do come to me, I would like to say, for fashion advice, which makes me the very, bros, very happy. Yeah, my brothers. And it literally 
brings so much joy to my life when they're when that text gets sent in the group chat. My one friend, Fo, he I will go shopping with him. Like we he'll be like, Oh, like I have to go pick up some stuff, like come with me. Like I've taken him shopping before and it's like my favorite thing to do. Where do you go? I've taken him to Madewell, I've taken him to Jake, like the simple stuff, you know what I mean? Like we're not going to like any like real designers here, but like staples in terms of just like tees, nicer tees, jeans, whatever, like you could get that all like that you don't have to continuously like spend your money on and like the quality will last. For sure. Like J. Crew is good, made well, like all those companies that are like Club Monaco I go to sometimes. Um, I haven't really shopped necessarily for myself. In Rocco, a while. can I give you an assignment? Yeah. I won this giveaway. Did you? On Instagram. Of course you did. No, you've seen it. I got like a free away suitcase. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And a fat gift card to Uniqlo. Oh. I spent $50 of it today, actually. Oh, congrats. That's so exciting. Um, but I have you three, these, these jeans. Oh, they're nice. Uh, they're fun. They're like, yeah. they're very um, baggy and like loose, which is going to be great because I'm going to Japan in a few days. Oh, right. And Japan culture is you need to wear long pants. So At all wanna, times, right? Usually. Oh. Well, like people yeah. like just don't wear shorts in Japan. So yeah. I wanted like long pants that I can wear when it's like so humid and hot there. Mm -hmm. So these are like very comfortable, very like light. But I have $300 left Damn. on this gift card that I'm like looking to burn, you know? Oh, you go shopping? Let's go shopping. You dress me up. Oh, sure. You tell me what to buy, yes. Okay, sure. You tell me what to, yeah, I want, I, want, I want you to, like, take my $300 and, and just style you up. Style me up. Oh, my God, that could be a video. I need, like, one or two office fits and then, like, oh, one or two casual sure. fits. And I think that's, like, 300 bucks will definitely cover that, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, Like, Uniqlo is yeah. cheap. It's, like, or not cheap, but, like, affordable. Uh, yeah, it's affordable. Yeah, it's, like, reasonably priced. Yeah. Like, 40, it was, like, $49 for a pair of jeans, which is, like, Cheap. Yeah, that's pretty good. For, like, jeans, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. say less. Like, I'm so down. That's so exciting. I'll what would you style me in? Eat that up. That'd what would fun. I style you in? Yes, like, what's my vibe? I feel like we need more... Your vibe is very, like, you wear khakis and you throw on, like, a tee or a button-down, like, what I've seen you in, um, and you wear Easy. your tennis shoes, yeah, and you show up to the office. Like, simple, subtle, sometimes you throw a sweater over and you have your tote bag. Mm -hmm. Toe or either your leather brief, but you got you're done with that, right? But like, what do you see me in now? Like, what? no, 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 I'm as like that's got like that was my question. Yeah, like I'm yeah. I'm over all that, you know. Yeah, okay. okay. I, want, I want like I want like the like in you want to be like styled. Up. Yes, I want to be styled like Rocco, like you need, this rock star. Oh my god! They, well, I look like crap today, but thank you so much. Oh my god! So look at those pants. <laughs> These are Lululemon. Um, they're just joggers. Rock star. Um, no, I used to work there, so I bought them when I worked there. But these are fabulous. I love them. Um, I actually did wear these to the office one day. Fun fact. The office I just, is like, so chill. Didn't care. Yeah. So, I mean, like whatever. Oh, you yeah. wear whatever. In tech, too, people wear anything. Like, I could wear anything, anything reasonable to the office. Yeah, obviously. Like, you're not showing up, like, you know. In, like, a crop top. Yeah, like, obviously, you wouldn't be doing that. That's a no no. But I think you need some pleated pants. You have to get that in your wardrobe. Do you wear a lot of loafers? Like, well, you wear your tennis shoes a lot, but, like, are you opposed to loafers at I'm all? I'm not opposed at all. Okay. I, I want some loafers. Where should I get them? Uh, actually, the ones that I like that are just simple, you just need, like, a simple penny loafer. Okay, yeah. Nothing crazy. Where do I get them? What's what's the, your go-to I have brand? mine at J. Crew. I got them there. Ooh. And I think they are from, um, I have to look back at the brand. I actually forget. But you can also get it just from the, G, I think it's G.H. Bass, maybe? I could be wrong about that. Um, I'll have to look into it. But I got mine off of J. Crew, and I love them. They're fabulous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wear them all the time. And I do have two pairs from Ferragamo, but... Do you know one time I was in a thrift store, I never go thrifting, but, like, one time... I can't thrift. It scares me. Same. But, like, well, I think I just don't like thrifting because, like, I love a, I love the vibe, but, like... Oh, I like the vibe, too, but I it takes so much time and I don't have that time. Exactly. It's too much work. Yeah. But this one time I went in a thrift store... <laughs> it's too much work. It's a lot of work. Like, it you is. have to, like, spend, like, a whole day, like, finding the good stuff. Well, you have to... Yeah, you have to search through everything. There was this in the shoe section, which is like so nasty to be in the like mm. used shoe thrift shop. 
area because like some of those shoes are like rank you know well, but yeah. i saw this gleaming pair of leather dress shoes and i was like wow and all shoes were twenty dollars wow were they ferragamos and they were ferragamo dress shoes in my exact size brand new did you get them of course oh I got good, them. good 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 i bought them so quick i know they're authentic because like the leather is just like so it's just like it's for sure real like mm-hmm. the the bottom is real wood like a wood sole, uh, like or wood yeah. heel mm-hmm. like leather bottomed there's like gold Love. on the inside it's just like it's a real shoe Re- fair combo. like i feel yeah. that those guys retail for like <laughs> no some of them i think are like mm, at least like 500 600 yeah yeah maybe even more yeah depending so like i feel like i really hit the jackpot with that one. Oh, you totally did right i unfortunately am starting to think i don't fit into mine anymore which is really How? upsetting what's what size are you i feel like ever since i ran my half marathon like my foot somehow got fatter i don't think it works like that no like i swear i put them on the other day and was like oh lol they don't fit unless i am just gaining weight which is fine but um i don't think you gain weight in your feet though yeah you do you lose weight in your feet fun fact really yeah you never knew that no that has to be a thing unless i'm making it up but i swear sometimes like i can tell like if i've like well i feel like it only if it's like jurassic weight gain or weight loss will like feet get bigger or smaller right i don't know i didn't study that in school i don't know either so you just said you were going to japan yes tell me about your trip to japan two weeks i'm gonna work remotely for one week what what's the time difference it's like flipped but like i just gave myself no meetings um okay create out my calendar and i'm just gonna respond to like stuff like you know at at odd times for new york standard or new york time yeah 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 um but just like complete what i have to do um asynchronous asynchronously with my team okay i like that and then one week fully off i have unlimited pto but i still felt bad to take like two whole weeks off at once you know so you're better than me but yeah yeah <laughs> well you know i'm like new i'm like kind of new i'm only four months into my new job so yeah but trips are planned right i had this i had this trip i'm planned. so bi- like i'm the worst like i'm so big on like take your time you know <laughs> no i fully plan you on gotta it. use it i will for <laughs> sure use it work is just busy you know and i gotta make a good impression no that's totally valid that's totally valid it's a it's I'm a just good the personality balance hire. and we love you for that thank you i, I just bring the good vibes you know tell everyone they're doing a good job like don't stress Okay, so you're going to work for one week, which is insane, but kudos to you. I give you so much credit for that. You get, you should get promoted just for doing that. Um, Thank you, Scott. And Yeah. So what's, like, your big thing that you're going to do while you're there? Like, obviously, you're there for two weeks, which is a long time, but, like, what's, mm-hmm. like, the most, like, thing you're looking forward to that's so exciting? The food, you know? Japanese food. Yeah. I'm going to be in Hokkaido for one week. Hokkaido uni is, like, my, my love really i love i love good uni i love sushi Mm. i love like anything anything like japanese sushi like whatever if whatever sushi it is if it's from japan i'm like it's gonna be good and i love i just like love the food the ramen i'm excited for the high highs and the low lows like the delicious you know fine sushi and i'm ready for like dollar ramen on like the streets of tokyo yeah can you like go to the convenience store and like send me the videos when you're in there because like i oh. love when i'm on tiktok and like that like always shows up on my for you page like people going to the convenience stores and like either like making a ramen really quick or like making like a fun little drink with like mm-hmm. the ice cups that they have there oh i love those things i'm gonna be i'm gonna be that girl for really sure. oh, oh my god, god i'm so yeah. excited for you i'm ready for like the whole the whole spectrum of like culinary experiences <laughs> right from like the top to the bottom mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. exciting hmm it's gonna be great a lot of food going with tyler for a week and then friends for a week oh it'll be great yeah it'll be great that's so fun the which country week are you working uh the one one the in the country week? yeah oh, the first okay week. um because it's more relaxing tokyo is gonna be like a uh, fever dream you know what i mean so true so true nightlife have you ever gone before never been to japan really never oh this been. is exciting right yeah i've never been either but i'm it looks fun this month was a lot of travel it was mm. 
London for like a whole half week, I think. I love London. I'm doing anything I can cook to go back. We should go back. We, we should go. I like I always say this and everyone's like, "Oh my god, like I want I I'm planning a trip." I'm like, "No, like no one understands. I will buy the ticket right now for tomorrow. Like the next flight out. I love London. I support. I love well, it. Let's get you out to London. It's so fun. The food was and so good. All the bars close at 2 a.m. Like, and everyone just like goes to sleep and gets like a decent rest, you know? No, London's amazing. Yeah. I did not, unfortunately, or unfortunately, I did not get to experience lad bar, bar culture just because I was only there for like three nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I just could not adjust that quickly. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, I, I was in London and then I flew back to New York for a day to bake cookies. Hmm. And then I took them out to San Francisco, where there's no bar culture. Everything closes by 10 p.m. In San Fran? In San Francisco, yes. Wow. Um, and then I'm in New York for well, one week. In L- in in L.A., the bars close at 2 a.m., I believe. I think well, it's like when San you're at someone's varied. house. It's like... Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very house party. Oh, L.A.? Yeah. That makes sense. No, San Francisco is very <sighs> tech forward, and people in tech like are not like out. They go to bed. Yeah, they're going to bed. They're going to rock climbing. They're, like, making their espresso in the morning, which I love doing. Um, with, like, their real espresso machines. And then love. they go to work. So that was that was a fun experience. I feel like I do that, too. But, like, after, like, having, like, <laughs> ten tequila. <laughs> after right. having, like, a full-blown night. <laughs> well, that's New York. Like, we true, do both. True, true. We yeah, do both. We do both. The balance. We do the balance. We, we have a balance. And I'm here in New York for one week, so you caught me. I caught you just in time. I know. I'm time. so happy I was able to get you. And then I'm out. I'm out another two weeks. Yeah. Out and about. I think traveling is so fun. Mm. You got to like spice up your life somewhere or another, one way or another. True. Whether it's through travel, through like a fun job, a fun project. Mm-hmm. Work is really busy, but fun. I have a lot of fun little projects here and there, as you know. And I love traveling. This is a summer of yes. It's our summer of yes. The year of yes. It's just been my summer of yes, to be honest. Yeah, no, I, I, my year of yes, I must say, it's so much fun. It took you places. It did. It did take it me took places. You places. places. Yeah. And took I'm, you, I'm loving it. Took you everywhere around the world, up high in the sky. Up high in the sky. Yes, it yes, yes. You. It allowed me to do things I never thought like I'd actually do. So I'm happy about it. Like honestly, it led to this podcast. Like I keep, I've been saying I'm gonna do it, do it, do it, do it. And then finally, this year came around. I turned 25, and I was like, yep, doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, As you should. Yeah. So, I love it. I can't complain. The year of yes is fun. I think everyone should do it. What's it, gonna happen next year, Rocky? Can break your bank. Oh, <laughs> depending on what you say yes to. Like, what are you saying yes to? Yeah. What's the most expensive thing you said yes to? Ooh, uh, I don't really know. My trip to LA was expensive, but I think I like saved up for that, so it's different. And that was already planned ahead of time. Was it Nobu? That did it for you? Nobu was the best. I'd spend that $200 again. You what don't that? understand how good that drink was. Isn't there Nobu in, like, Manhattan? Yeah. Have you been? No. It's definitely... I mean, it's probably just good, but it's not the same vibe. Like... I think it's, like, It's not overlooking Fidei, right? the beach. True. It's in Fidei, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll have me come on and I'll make it... I'll make the, the tequila drink I got there, because it was so good. All right, well, I think that's our show. Daniel, thank you so much for coming on my show. I was so happy that I was able to book you in your busy schedule with all this traveling coming up and, you know, such exciting things for you. So thank you for fitting me in. Of course. And I am happy I made the trek (laughs) for you out here. (laughs) Right, well, thank you for making the trek. No, of course. I'm happy you wanted to come on. It makes, you know... I like yeah. when my friends want to come on. It makes me feel good. No, you got like you know? a fun, like new little, new little background yeah, for, the, you, for the episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? Change it up. And Tyler, thank you so much for hosting. I appreciate it. You've been a great audience, live studio audience for the live first studio. time. Oh my God. Yes. It's crazy. Clap audience. Clap. No, it, 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 clap, clap. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Can I hear it? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, they probably will. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tyler. No, it makes me feel good because now I can do a live show. Like You can say you've <laughs> had a live tour. show. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Rock star energy, for sure. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, that's our show. I'm gonna, I always end the show with a couple of shout outs. So, Daniel, do you have any you want to give out? Shout out to Tyler and shout out to uh, Rocco. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to, shout out to my rock star. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. As always, shout out to my family, my brothers, my poos, and my creative directors. Love you guys all so much. And shout out to all the rock stars who will tune in. When I release these episodes, I know it's been crazy. Uh, so continue to follow along to the Instagram at Rock on the Rocks for the updates on when episodes will be dropping. I'm doing my best to keep it weekly, but like I said, work has been getting in the way, so I do apologize for that. And again, shout out to Tyler for hosting. You are the best. Hopefully we can get you on an episode someday. Fingers crossed. Um, but yes, thank you everyone. Continue to follow along the Instagram. Also, feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube at Rock on the Rocks as well. That's all for our show this week. We will see you all next week. Remember, rock stars, always be your best self. Do not forget to smile. Life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Everyone, have a fabulous day. Goodbye. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs>